Ooh, this looks like a long question. Harvard Bridge, which connects MIT with its fraternities across the Charles River, has a length of 364.4 smoots, plus one ear. The unit of one smoot is based on the length of Oliver Reed Smoot, Jr., class of 1962, who was carried or dragged length by length across the bridge so that other pledge members of the Lambda Chi Alpha fraternity could mark off with paint one smoot lengths across the bridge. The marks have been repainted biannually by fraternity pledges since the initial measurement, usually during times of traffic congestion so that the police cannot easily interfere. Presumably, the police were originally upset because the smoot is not an SI base unit, but these days they seem to have accepted the unit. A fun fact, this is actually true. They didn't make it up for the problem. This is an actual thing. Uh, yeah, this is like a, apparently a pretty popular joke, actually, at MIT. Um, in fact, the word smoot is apparently even in dictionaries now and has been for a while. Yeah, Mr. Oliver Smoot over here uh, graduated from MIT and eventually became a lawyer. And, and later on, even after that, became like the chairman and president of various companies dedicated to uh, deciding the standards of measurements and whatnot. I have no idea with this part of the question, though, that talks about the police being upset about it not being an SI unit. I think whoever wrote the question was being sarcastic there, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, and I even have a, I even found a little, an adorable little picture of the day that happened. So that's, it's kind of funny, I guess. Alright, though, but anyways, let's actually take a look at what the question's asking. So figure 1-4 one, uh, one over here uh, shows three parallel paths measured in Smoots, Willies, and Zeldas. The Willies, I don't think Willies and Zeldas or anything checked, and it seems like they were just made up for the problem. What is the length of 50 Smoots in Willies and Zeldas? Alright, let's start with part A. Alright, so part A is pretty easy enough because as we can see from the our little image here, we have a we have or it starts at zero and goes up to two hundred and twelve uh, smoots here, and from zero it goes up to two hundred fifty eight willies, and they both start out at zero. Both lines do, so we have a perfect easy to read ratio there. So fifty um, smoots then is going to be equal to uh, fifty smoots. Times two hundred fifty eight willies or two hundred fifty eight W over two hundred and twelve smoots, and this is equal to sixty point eight willies. Part B is a little bit trickier, and the reason why is because although we're given a number of Zeldas here, we are not actually shown the zero line for that. We can't just assume it's right there. But we are given a 60 line, so that will be enough. So don't get don't get too hung up on the fact that there's no zero line there because of the fact that we are given a 60 line right along with the 32 line. And that alone is all we need to get a good ratio here. So, from 212 to 32, 212 minus 32 is, I'm going to write that down actually, minus 32 is equal to 180 smoots. So we've got that distance right there accounted for. And then over here, 216 minus 60, that would be, oh Jesus, 216 minus 60 is equal to 156 Zeldas. So we have that distance accounted for as well. And since in, we know now that 180 smoots is equal to 156 Zeldas, so the ratios are going to be equal. See, we don't need a zero on the zero line. That's all good. But now to actually make our conversion, so now 50 smoots is going to be equal to 50 smooth, so I'm going to include it again for a little conversion here, times, and then a ratio, 156 
Zeldas over 180 smoots. And that is equal to 43.3 Zeldas.